Hey guys, it's your girl Be Radiance here with a do-it-yourself tutorial on how to make crate cushions or crate seats. For this tutorial, you will need heavy-duty staples that you'll use along with a staple gun. You will also need a pair of scissors. You do not need the glue that's in the background. That was actually for a different project that I worked on for my class. However, you do need uh, wood that is a half inch thick and it's 12 and 5 eighths by 15 and 5 eighths. You can get your wood cut at any hardware store. You also need some sort of cushion. For this very, very rough tutorial, I decided to use some old um, porch seat cushions that I had at my house. For the crates in my class, I actually used the foam top mattress pad that you can find at a Walmart or any other store that sells bedding. So what you want to do is use your scissors to cut your fabric to a length that you think will be able to cover the entire cushion. Um, you can utilize the scissors throughout the activity to cut as needed. Right now I'm actually cutting off a piece of string from the cushion so that I can use that later on in order to create a loop that will help um, with lifting the cushion off of the crate for storage. So you want to place your wood and your cushion right on top of each other. Your cushion should be face down and you can just begin to fold and position um, the fabric over the wood um, so that you can cover the entire cushion and wood area. Once you're able to fold as you feel is necessary or as you feel is adequate enough for coverage, you can use your staple gun to just uh, secure those ends and to ensure that everything is nice and straight, that there are no wrinkles, um, no excess fabric being left on the edges or on the front side of your cushion. At this point, I am um, trimming off some of the ends of the fabric because it was too long to fold inward and not be too bulky on the under part of the cushion. Once I do that, I will go back to, and refold it, sort of like wrapping a gift, and staple the inner parts of the fabric into the center of the bottom of the cushion to finish off the project. Once um, I do this, or while I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I'm pressing hard down on the staple gun. If it's not secure, the staples will pop out or could potentially pop out as you are using your cushions. For instance, if someone is sitting on them continuously and the staples are not secure, they will come out. So be sure to press hard on the top of the staple gun as you are um, making the staple inserts. Here I am taking that piece of string that I cut off from the cushion earlier, creating a loop by folding it in half and I'm going to staple it to the underside of the cushion so that it creates sort of a lever that will help with pulling it away from the crate if I need to store anything inside of the crate. This will help with um, opening the crate up. You want to make sure that it's long enough to fold over the side of the cushion. And there you have it, your crate seat cushion do-it-yourself tutorial. Here's what they looked like before last year, the last couple years that I've had them in my class, and here's what they look like now. Hit the subscribe button for more do-it-yourself tutorials and to follow my sister lot journey.